Today, Michael Higgins is our instructor, and Michael is a man who is confident and knowledgeable. He has spent heaven only knows how many hours and hours seeking out the truths of not only self-improvement, but education from those who have learned to achieve outstanding success. Michael's implemented those pr principles of success into his own life, and sometimes he's even found he must sacrifice something he enjoyed because it wasn't raising him towards that success that he wanted, but it was actually standing in his way. For example, Michael was big into competing on, in online gaming, but once he realized this hobby was really an impediment to his success and was wasting his time, he actually shot his television. I'm not kidding, he shot his television. When it came to what he really wanted, he put a screeching halt to gaming and he put that time into moving himself closer to his goals. Michael's success has since been amazing. As his business improved, his leadership skills grew. He was appointed to the Founders Advisory Board at the time he was the youngest member invited to be part of that. And, and look at his success today. Uh, just look at the woman at his side, Vanessa. We love Vanessa. And she works as hard as Michael. They are constantly reaching out to us all across the country to help us reach higher and higher towards success because they know there's room for all of us in that exclusive club. And so often we're the only ones standing in our way. Michael, good morning. How are you, sir? Good morning. Good morning. All right, we've got you as host. We're excited to hear what you've got to tell us. Perfect. Okay, everyone. Good morning. Welcome. Thanks, Ron, for putting everything together. Hello, everyone. I'm here in Hawaii. I had came early to just make sure everything was still beautiful as uh, more people were showing up. Um, yeah, it's beautiful here. And what I had planned for this morning was to cover how we're making phone calls. So for those of you who are sitting at home wondering when you get to come to Hawaii, when you get to come play, well, it's when you take making phone calls seriously when you take it up a notch and you take it so seriously that you'll stop in the middle of uh, whatever you're doing to make those phone calls and to keep pushing your business forward. Um, you know, yesterday, Vanessa's like, Hey, it's beach time. And we go to the beach and then my calendar kicks on a reminder that says, Hey, it's phone call time. So while we're at the beach, we go back to the, the rental car and pull up the list and we start making phone calls and we we make our phone calls we hit the number of people that we want booked and then we went back to playing now it wasn't that long it took us less than an hour or so but how many people would actually stop their beach trip take off their snorkel mask and go and make phone calls for an hour and then get back to playing if you can make phone calls with that level of seriousness, then you can run this business from anywhere in the world, right? You whip out an iPad, an iPhone, a spreadsheet, and you get to work. It's a beautiful thing. If you have that discipline to, to make the work happen, then you can work from anywhere. I'm trying to figure out my camera so I can show you guys my view from this balcony. Maybe by the end of the call, I'll show you guys. Okay, so let's jump into this. Couple things first. When I go to calls, I set up myself. Okay. So first thing I do is um, I'm myself in my house. I will write down on a spreadsheet, on a piece of paper, on a whiteboard, something. I'll write down the four core beliefs. I'll write that. So just to recap, Renatus is the best income opportunity in the country. 
case you didn't know. Okay, the next core belief is everyone needs Renatus. Everyone. Not just some people, everyone needs Renatus. We are doing them a favor. And it's their loss if they say no. It's not my loss. I have a combo. I'm good. It's their loss if they say no. So that's the first thing I do. The next thing I do is I'll write on my whiteboard or paper. I'll put the message in front of me. Three seconds of them answering the phone. That is number one, be enthusiastic as hell. Enthusiastic as hell. Number two, as sharp as attack. I know what's going on. I'm in control. Number three, person of authority. Now, we've talked about this before person of authority. I know sometimes. New people go, well, Michael, I don't have any authority. How, what can I do? What can I say? What can I, how can I be? Well, the easiest thing, if you think about it, is to remind yourself you're a CEO. If you've started your IMA business, you started a real estate business, you got holdings, you got a, you've got this marketing business, you're the owner, you're the CEO, you're the president, you're the founder, you're something. So put it on your business card, put it on your LinkedIn profile, put it on your Facebook. You are the CEO, you're the president, you're the owner, you're the founder, you're, you're maybe if your spouse is involved, you're the vice president, who knows? But the point is claim your authority. So when people ask you what you're up to, you can speak from that position. You're a person of authority. Okay. Then, the next crucial part to the call party is the scoreboard. Now, this is, you know, when I had a Amanda, I remember we, we would do a lot of call parties with Amanda, with, uh, with new money, with young money, with money Michael, Heels on wheels. Right now, I'd get, I'd get together a bunch of team members and we'd say, all right, it's time to make some money. It's time to make some calls. Let's, let's, uh, let's do a round robin for a little bit and then let's go to town. The next point is to um, have them hang up on you. You get hung up on, you get a point. However, you will minus a point, you will lose a point. If you hang up first, or, um, yeah, basically if you hang up first without an email, if you, if you hang up first and you end the conversation without getting an email, you lose a point. We didn't have these four core beliefs. You wouldn't let you wouldn't bring it out in the conversation until you either got the phone number, you got the email address, you got a book, or they just hung up on you. So, get up and just have them come up. Okay, and then I got my script in front of me, and then I just remember um, that questions control the conversation. 
right? Questions control the conversation. So I'll get my question brain ready. So I promise to learn and study questions and how to control them in the conversation. You're gonna at least you're gonna double your income the first 12 months once you figure this out. You start controlling your conversations with questions instead of statements. I'll get a lot of IMAs to say, well, you know, if I just knew what to say, I would make more phone calls. What do I say? What do I say? What do I say? Well, you don't say anything. You ask, ask, ask a lot of questions, clarifying questions, power questions, curiosity questions. Ask the questions. And that's how you'll control the conversation. That's how you get people booked to meetings. That impact lives. Okay. Every day. So, thanks for sticking around for that. Let's pull up sheet here and start looking at phone calls. This is going to be fun to merge. That'd be a good use of time. It's either that or Napoleon Hill's self analysis. Either way, I think we should make phone calls. All right, so pulling up the link here. Stand by, stand by. Okay, I've never actually done it this way with the webinar, but I believe it'll work. Enter your participant ID. You are in the Zoom meeting now. There are over 50 participants in the meeting. This meeting is being recorded. Unmute yourself by pressing star six. Okay. 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 We're gonna do this one more time. One more time. One more time. All right. First call. What do we got here? We are calling. Oh, and the last thing I do is I pull up the schedule and I get the events calendar coming up. That way, if they're like, oh, sorry, I'm busy on Thursday, I go, great, you're coming on Friday. Oh, you're coming on Saturday. So I've got to have the events calendar up too. Okay, so. Okay, here we go.
Okay, they didn't answer. Next phone call. There, you shouldn't have any problem with audio. I'm just hey, Ron? Uh, connecting a phone call on the standby. I must have missed that. Yeah. All right, we're going to try this again. Not ended any number. Please re-enter your meeting ID followed by the pound for hash. Fucking bitch. All right, next call. <laughs> Okay, great okay, news. Great Holy news. crap, that's loud. Okay, next time. Next time. Damn it. Fuck. Next time we just cleared it. Okay, we got this. Next call. We are calling. Hello. Hey, my name is Michael. You, I believe you called off one of my ads about real estate investing. Did I catch you at a good time? Which is this? Are you? Uh, my name is Michael. You called an ad about real estate. It was a, a roadside sign. That ring a bell? Uh huh. Yeah. Hello. Can you hear me okay? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, perfect. Do you remember calling my ad about real estate? There's a sign on the side of the road. Do you remember calling? Mm, maybe I called, I can't remember. When was that? Um, it was a couple weeks ago. The white uh, sign had a black marker on it. it. Said real estate investor. Oh, real estate. I uh, now I remember. You remember? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Key number one. Don't move the conversation forward without someone remembering. Perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So, what? Um, you remember calling? What got you interested? What made you call? 
Mm, I like business. You like business? Yes. Okay. All right. Do you have a business right now? No, I'm not. No. I don't have a business right now. Okay. What do you do for a living? Oh, I am a CNA. Okay. But, but I used to be a, a, a insurance agent. Okay. Yeah. Um, right now, I'm CNA. And now you're a CNA. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, I'm putting together a group of real estate investors, new people, you know, brand new to the business as well as experienced people. Mm. And so, if you're interested, if you're interested in learning more about real estate and you want to mm. do some deals with us. I would like to invite you to an introduction meeting. Mm, oh yeah. So it's going to be in Scottsdale on Thursday in the North Scottsdale area. What part of town are you in? Hmm? What part of town are you in? I'm in Mesa. Mesa. Okay. So it's, you know, a 30 to 40 minute drive, but it'll definitely be worth your time. Mm. Um, is there anything you're doing Thursday night at seven that you can't get out of? Mm, yeah, that's when I, say I, I can be available. You can be available? No. Are you, are you open on Thursday night or are you busy? Oh, I'm busy. You're busy Thursday night. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. What about um what about Saturday morning? You wanna come yeah. see a, a real estate deal that we're doing? Yeah, that one can work. Huh? That one is okay. For Saturday? Okay. Yes. Okay, great. What's your email address? It's H N N U G U N A number five at gmail dot com. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna Text you that just to confirm that I got it correct. And then I'll okay. send you over the details. And then Saturday, okay. we'll get together okay. and then um, we'll do a presentation. If you like what you see, then we can okay. keep talking about how we'll do our real estate together. Does that sound fair? Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, well, thanks for taking my call and I will send you the email right now. Okay, thank you. Okay, have a great day. You too, thank you. Okay, well, that sure was fun. Thanks for participating. Thanks for listening. I guess the main uh, lesson from that phone call, what, do, what was the main lesson from that phone call that you guys got out of that? What's the most important thing? 
uh, D. Lee, we will, uh, there's a spreadsheet list I'll share at the end of this, where you can review all the history of all of these. Okay, one of them was, the major key I want you to get out of that is do not move the conversation forward until they remember that they called. Okay, sometimes we get so nervous and we want to be like, oh, well, let me just jump right into this thing. And then we just jump into a script and people don't remember they don't have a context. They're not, it wasn't, it wasn't for them. So wait until you confirm that they remember. So I said, he called my ad. You remember it was on the side of the road. Remember that? It was a white sign, black marker. As soon as they remember, we can move the conversation forward. Did someone have a question? Yes, Sal is another good point. Before giving up, before saying, well, I guess we're never going to meet again. I just use an alternative for uh for their meeting hey oh Thursday doesn't work it's all good we got Saturday Saturday doesn't work it's all good we got Wednesday Wednesday doesn't work it's all good I got Monday when it doesn't work it's all good there's next Thursday none of those work then you don't qualify next okay now I don't know about you but whenever I hear CNA, I feel bad for them. Um, I, you know, don't get me wrong, any CNAs on the phone here, but if I understand what a CNA does correctly, they're just a professional diaper changer. And so I'm sure she hates her job plenty and she'll go through the learning curve to be able to do what we're doing here. So even though she has a, we had a little bit of a rough time on the phone, I'm sure meeting face to face showing her what we're up to. Um, she'll definitely figure out how to get involved with what we do. People don't want to be CNAs for very long. It's just CNAs, CNA schools advertise on, you know, local TV. And yeah, their hours are ridiculous, the whole thing. So I believe in this lady. I'm gonna, also something else I wanted to point out is um, listening to people's names in their, in their email addresses over the phone that is always a challenge so um i just i have them say it once and then i will just text them so so right as soon as i end this training with you guys i'll just text her and say hey did i hear this correctly is this how you spell your email address what's your name again thanks nice to meet you i look forward to uh catching up saturday Okay, but trying to make someone say their email address four or five times on the phone, that shit gets annoying real quick. For you and for them, because then they're like, ugh, I don't know how to say it any clearer. I get an iPhone and probably hear me better. That's probably what they're thinking. Anyway, uh, good, good points all around. Remember, uh, there's multiple events to build for, asking appropriate questions clarifying, moving the conversation forward once they remember, all good stuff. Okay, thanks for listening. Let's call another person.
Okay, that guy didn't answer. I'll shoot him a text on to the next phone number. Don't even, your name doesn't even ring a bell. <laughs> so, no, I'm not looking into doing any real estate investment anytime soon. So, interesting. Yeah, your number just showed up right here on my list, and this phone number is only used for advertising real estate. Do you remember? Perhaps uh, it was on the side of the road, a little white sign. Um, it said, Real estate investor seeks trainee. Oh, those things. Yeah, that was a while ago. And, um, but yeah, that was a while ago, but now it's kind of switched. I'm not going to be looking into that right now. So interesting. You found something better? Um, no, well, I'm a real estate agent and, um, I just have some other goals that I'm pursuing right now. So, mm -hmm. uh, more on the yeah, sales so side or what? Uh, the sales side, but I'm also looking at doing some admin stuff um, for a larger company, um, as well as I also do um, uh, network marketing mm -hmm. as well, and I am finishing my schooling. So, so I have a lot on my plate, so yeah. Okay. What, um, what type of network marketing are you doing? I actually work um, with a company called Life Vantage. Have you heard of them? Life Vantage. Uh, sounds familiar, but I don't remember exactly what they do. They're, well, we have a few products, but their main, their, their flagship product is ProTandem. It's a little yellow pill that lowers your oxidative stress by 40% in 30 days. So, yeah, it's actually pretty cool. Um, and we, we, key term it biohacking because it actually activates your own nerf 2 system in your own body to fight free radicals so it's pretty it's pretty cool and it's backed up by pubmed.gov and um peer-reviewed studies so it's not just a quote supplement on the on the shelf so yeah gotcha okay you seem pretty passionate about that that's exciting yeah it's, it's pretty cool I'm, I, I have a lot invested in the health side, you know, in a lot of different areas. So, yeah, it is. It's pretty cool. I'm not into the protein shake stuff. I'm not into the weight loss. It's like, no, just do the work and lose the weight. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm not going to. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> what's that? And stay away from toxins, right? Yep. Stay away. Just, you know, I mean. You're going to get them no matter what. But, yeah, it's – yeah, that's my thing. I'm like, no, I'm not going to convince someone to take a protein shake because I don't believe in taking I – I believe in taking a protein shake after a weightlifting session, but not as a meal replacement. I'm like, eat regular food. Right. <laughs> right. So, okay. exactly. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> well, right yeah, I have a, yeah. I have a for health too that's why i got into real estate because i was so broke i couldn't afford the good food i had to get into real estate start making some money nice nice yeah. so do you just do investments or do you do flips or what do you do yeah i do flips short sales wholesaling lease options rentals um i also do um, debt acceleration where as i pick up mortgages i use what's called velocity banking to pay them off quickly so I don't know if you've ever looked at a at a mortgage amortization schedule, but you know how the the front loaded like the first five years or so are really heavy in the interest. Mm hmm Well, using velocity banking, we're actually able to pay off the debt of our rental properties in that five year time where most people are looking at refinancing because they want to lower their payment by a hundred bucks. 
I'm having them paid off. I mean, my, my teammates are, are paying things off and most people are refinancing. So velocity banking plays a major key into this because, you know, if you understand interest, you collect it. And if you don't, you pay it. Right. So, um, yeah, it's really just building up a portfolio of cash flow and rentals so that we can move on to the next thing in our life, right? Money is now stabilized. Right. And um, and there is another opportunity inside of this where, yes, let's do a bunch of real estate, but also if you refer people to our group, kind of like network marketing, we do a referral thing where if you send someone to our group, whether it's someone who wants to be a capital lender or someone who wants to be boots on the ground kind of thing, uh, we pay a, a referral fee for that as well, which is which is pretty nice. So um, with what you're working on and what you're pursuing and what you're passionate about, I think this might be a good fit. I, I know you're busy, but I think with everything we have to offer, the trade-off definitely be there. Do you have a mortgage right now? Uh, yeah, we do actually. Now we do. We used to not have a mortgage. Our house was paid off and then we took a mortgage out and, and just invested the money to grow interest. And so, um, but we're not refinancing any, it's on a five in one arm going on 12 years now. <laughs> oh, wow. No, but you can't, I mean, you just can't, you can't beat the interest rate. I mean, we, for 10 years, we paid $600 on our, I mean, $600 in interest on our house you know, wow. total, and then the rest we, you know, and then we put whatever we wanted towards the principal, you know, so it's like, and it just sits there, I mean, it's still, I think that, I mean, the interest is going up, but it's, um, and now we're on a lock paying the principal as well as the interest now, not locked, but we're, we have to yeah. start paying principal not on our own, <laughs> so, right, but, almost, almost over. Right, exactly. And so, you know, but we're still, our house payment is still only $1,600. So I just watch it. I just have my lender, you know, I call them every year because it, it, um, it, they evaluate it every six months. And, um, and so, yeah, so we just kind of, I call my lender to say, Hey, how, how are the interest rates? Cause that's not my thing. I, I don't care about the interest. I'm like, that's why I have someone that does that. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, okay, do we need to refinance yet? How are we looking? Okay, we'll just keep going, you know, so. Okay, well, cool. Yeah, if, if you haven't seen how Velocity Banking works, I'm actually going to be doing a workshop this Thursday in my Scottsdale office. Uh, if you just want to come by, check it out, take some notes, meet some other folks who are who have turned, you know, a, a property that was cash flowing $200 into something that's cash flowing $1,000. You know, with, with the same property, the same renter, just changing how they're doing their banking around it, it's making it cash flow, you know, at least double, if not, some, some people are getting quintuple, like you said, it's, it's amazing. Okay, so are you like a network marketing company? Are you a network marketing company? Like, do you look for people, um, you call them referrals, but are those the referrals? Are you talking just a referral to somebody else? Or are you talking a referral that of someone who might be interested in doing what you're doing? Both. Okay, so you have two referrals. Okay, so it is so it so is network marketing. For yeah, yeah. We oh, okay. For our real estate, so if like you know someone that's wanting to sell a, a house or someone that needs to buy, and we can actually do some real estate on that side, we'll pay a referral fee. But then also, if you know someone or, that wants to learn real estate investing, wants to know how to be a transaction coordinator and put different deals together and make a bunch of money using other people's money, just using your knowledge, if you bring me someone like that, I'll pay you up to $10,000 for someone to work with me in that capacity. So, uh, okay. Yeah. So, you know, you could do referral you could do one a month one a quarter one a week i mean it's really just up to you you do 10 you make 100 grand okay is that something you want to learn mm. more about you know i don't think so not at this time i'm i'm like i said and as i as you recognize i do have a lot on my plate and 
I just am not, right now I'm not interested in adding one more thing. You can put me on your list though and call me later and see where I'm at, but um, I'm fine with that. Uh, but right now I, I'm pretty maxed um, okay. with, with new opportunities right now. So. Well, what is your email address? It is Soraya, spelled S-A-R-I-A-H, dot Crandall, C-R-A-N-D-A-L-L, -L, at Gmail. Soraya dot Crandall at Gmail. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, you're more than welcome to send me emails occasionally. Don't spam my email and send me stuff every day. That drives me nuts. I no. block people on Facebook that promote their business. I'm like, promote your business on a business page or promote your business occasionally, that's fine. Don't promote it once or twice every day. I'm like, that's against Facebook rule, first of all. And second of all, it's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, this will, uh, I'll keep you in the loop with different events that I'll be okay. doing throughout the end of the year. Um, on your real estate sales side, what, um, how long have you been doing that for? Um, well, actually, I've had, I've been in real estate, I've had my license for 13, almost 14 years now here in Arizona, okay. but it's, I practiced for two or three years, and then I hung out with the state. I ended up having my daughter, and then we moved to Mexico, and then we moved back to Mexico, and so it's just kind of been hung, and I've just been keeping my license up to date, um, and, and, uh, just inactive so um but I, I kind of keep an eye on it and you know I like I said I do my renewal classes and it's been kind of bouncing in my head to you know get back into it because I actually loved it but again I know it's a lot of work and I'm not I'm just not not quite there to put in that much effort <laughs> you know, you know, I mean, if I, if I have to be frank and honest and I'm trying, like I said, and I'm yeah. back in school trying to finish my degree and, um, so basically just trying to tie up like my loose ends, like things that I just need to complete to just wipe them off my to-do list, yeah. you know, so too long. yes, exactly. It's like, we're done. Let's just knock it out, get it done. <laughs> So, so yeah, but I'll, I'll, I am more than happy to um, look at your emails and, and, you know, and it's nice to keep up to date on things and, and, uh, and see the trends and things yeah. like that. And so. Well, let's do this then. Um, I'll, I'll keep you in the loop as time goes on. Um, you know, I try to stay active in the market. Um, but also this, why don't you check out, I made an 11 minute video that explains velocity banking and how to use it to pay off student loans, cars, mortgages, all in 11 minutes. If I sent that to you, would you check it out? Uh, yeah. Okay. Awesome. I'll just include that in the email and then we can stay in touch. Okay. That sounds great. Thanks so much. I appreciate your call. Yeah, sir. I have a wonderful morning. Take care. Hey, thanks. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, does that count as a point? That's a gray area point right there, ladies and gentlemen. I did get her to, a, to watch a webinar, all right? Or at least she said she would. So according to the rules, did I get her booked or something? Technically, kind of. But also, this is going to be six months to a year follow-up, right? You can already tell. So as we're adding notes, Call her in three months, call her in six months, call her in nine months. Eventually, life is going to smack her upside the head. She's not going to have such a good attitude. And, uh, and she'll be like, you know what, let me check out that thing you're saying. What's that $10,000, whatever? Hey, notice how I didn't go into this long, drawn-out pitch. I want you to uh, type in anything else that you observed while we were doing this. If you've got any questions. Okay, the Tyler, the eleven minute video is interestreduction.com.
Okay, yeah, I, I made it easy for her to talk to me the whole time. Right, I'm still being friendly. Talked a little bit about health. All right, some of you guys are like, ugh, health. Ugh. Where are people going to shut up about it? They're never going to shut up about it. So why don't you just learn the language so you can connect with people on a different level and have some more rapport? What I'm saying is eat your vegetables. Um, I listened to her. She talked a lot. You're right. Um, yeah, notice how I asked some clarifying questions because she says she's been in real estate. But did you notice how the way people say shit like that? Hey, I've been in real estate. And then I asked her in a pleasing tone, tell me about your real estate. Well, she's been doing it. She's been a licensed agent for 12 years, but hasn't done anything for 10 years. So that totally changes it with one question. Changes how she presented herself to what the reality of it was. Okay, so what did I say? Control conversations? Preguntas. Questions, questions, control conversations. Okay, what else did you guys notice? Yes, many, many questions. Questions, control conversations. Interestreduction.com. Hey, Michael, Travis here. Hey, Travis, good morning. Good morning. Quick question. When she asked you if it was network marketing and you said yes, just wanted to have you clarify that because I've heard people within Renata say it's not, work, it's not network marketing, it's direct selling. So how do you typically clarify that for people? Um, well, it's not an MLM, which is different network marketing. Because network marketing, you can have direct sales or you can have MLM. So, so network marketing is like the parent for direct sales, referral sales, MLMs. So, okay. um, yeah, it's, it's, it's all also in how their tone is around it. If they're like, oh, I love direct sales, or oh, I love MLMs, then it's like, great, we're whatever you love, right? right. We're that. So, okay. That's a good point. She said network yeah. marketing, and it went in, as L, at, went in my head as MLM. So that's a great clarification. Mm. I agree with you. Makes sense. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for, thanks for paying attention and asking good questions. Absolutely. Okay. So you notice how um, I didn't do a better than, worse than kind of thing where it's like, well, you're in network marketing, but my thing's better. Right? I avoided that too because comparison is one of the quickest ways to put someone on the defense unless they're asking, what, what, what is yours? How, how does that work? Okay, so when I told her 10,000 and she didn't say, well, how does that work? In my mind, that just told me, okay, I'm, I'm not going to keep going down this path with her or else she would have said something. If she really was interested in $10,000 checks, she would have been like, what? How does that work? She wasn't. Like I said, six months to 12 months, something's going to happen in her life so she'll be more open. Okay, and then um, th there's obviously a lot of pride around her mortgage and how that, uh, how she's financed that. And so I just did a bunch of listening, right? Oh, tell me more, tell me more, five in one arm, okay, tell me more, tell me more. And then she goes, well, now I got to actually pay a regular mortgage payment. So again, I wasn't, I wasn't jumping to any conclusion where it's like, well, hey, oh, you have a mortgage? I have this thing. I asked some more questions and said, well, okay, this is what it does for me. This is my experience, right? Where I'm finding the people and we're telling the story. I'm telling the story from my perspective. And my perspective could be, you know, someone else's story. My perspective can be Dan and Lori Gleason's story. That's exactly what I was thinking of when I was like, well, you got to come meet some people who actually have done this. You know, I was thinking of... Uh, other people 
yeah, you still felt found. Oh, I know how you feel. I felt the same way, and here's what I found. I know how you feel others felt the same way. This is what they found. Okay, so a pleasing tone, ask good questions, got some clarifiers. Um, I use um, just a Google Google Drive spreadsheet. Just a regular old Google Drive spreadsheet. At the top it says name, lead source, date, phone number, email address, notes, events, booked, extra notes. Okay, you got it, Alex. And then when I call her back, it's going to be all great news. It's going to be this was great, and that was great, and that was great. How was your last six months, 12 months? Okay, so hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Question control conversations. Match tone. No better than or worse than. Test the waters, right? I tested it on real estate, I tested it on velocity banking, tested it on the comp plan. She wasn't interested. So, any other questions before we get out of here? Anyone else want to come off mute? <laughs> Ask any questions for, before we depart? Is that helpful? Should we do it again next Wednesday? Okay, hey, we should be next uh, one today. Let me know. Go ahead. What's up? I just said that was awesome. Yeah, do some more phone training next week, bro. Great. Okay. Well, get your IMAs on here next weekend. Okay. They're around here. Hey, hey. Michael. Yes. Dan Knickerbocker here. Hey. I'm sorry I missed some of that because I have some uh, window cutters here in this house I'm rehabbing. And I had to rush over to the house to get things cleared out for them. But uh, I thought the awesome was training when I heard of it, and I look forward to another one. Okay. Well, let's count on that then. If next Wednesday works for everyone, we'll just jump right into it. Set up the stage, right? Four core, sharp as attack, questions, control. Look at our events, and we'll just hit it. Then. Appreciate you guys being here. Thanks for tuning in. We will see you next week. Take care.